Oh, I, you think you can take us? Take you? I'm an aging academic with no battle experience. Of course I can't take you. But I don't need to win. I just need to delay. Time. He's running. Out. Uh, tonight is the night. Soon the yellow god will knock upon our door. A terrifying prospect, but I'm not afraid. This could still initiate Proposal 99, the city evacuation plan. Your Majesty, this may be our last opportunity. For the last time, there's no need. I have faith in Aquila and Excalibur. <sighs> we don't need that accursed weapon. Where is the Plague Master anyway? In their lab, desecrating some corpse, I expect. Your Royal Majesty, Lord Master Ophi- Oh, I've heard of it. Or Orphicius? Or Orphicius. Leo. You reek of alcohol, Sir Alex. Did you abandon your post just to go wallow in a tavern gutter? There's good intel to be gained from tavern gutters, Needle Knight. Why, the things you overhear. Ugh, out with it. There's an unsavory gathering happening tonight in the slums. Hundreds of rodents all threatening to march on the palace. A protest without a license? We're the organizers. I don't know their names. Some devil-tailed vagabond mouse with a god sword was chief among them. He looked familiar. Vagabond? Well, that's impossible. For the peasants to revolt on tonight of all nights. It is no coincidence. They must have caught wind of the imminent danger above us. So it's an opportunistic rebellion then. They wish to leverage the chaos to overthrow me, just like they did with the Squirrel Duke. Well, I don't know about that, but yes, this is a security concern. Blade Master, why are you just standing around? Get out there and quash this petty uprising. My duty is to protect you, your majesty, and to that end, it's vital I remain at your side. <laughs> if the Blade Masters come down with a case of the Lily Livers, I'd be more than willing to lead the troops. Not an option, Alex. You can't be trusted with authority. Just demonstrated that time and time again. What are you talking about? The Sterling Knight has an excellent track record. It's right there in his title. Get out there and bash some skulls, Sir Alex. With grace and might, your majesty. Now there's a soldier who remembers what he's fighting for. Who knows, maybe he's due for a promotion. Like peas in a pod. That's all four of us, then. Right on time. And we still have three hours until the 13th chime, the witching hour. I was hoping for a bigger crowd, though. Aye, this is a bit pitiful. Oi, Stilton! Where is everyone? I don't know. We knocked on doors, we handed out leaflets. I swear, we got hundreds of RSVPs. <laughs> People want chain, but they don't want to put their necks on the line. I can't say I blame them, it's all a bit intimidating, ain't it? You can still do this, right? Everyone gather around. Listen up. Hi. This is it. This is the night. We're going to march up our tourist street, march past Ratless, and march right into the royal palace. Then we're going to find the king and demand he listens to our voices. Anything to add, Verm? <laughs> let's stay safe. Let's kick ours. It's regicide time. Ah, uh, whoa. Let's, let's tone it down a bit. Nah. I'm good. You got it covered. Anything to add? No. Fair enough. Mouse a few words. Excuse me. This protest is being held without a proper license. On His Majesty's orders, please disperse immediately. Return to your homes. The guard are here already. Did someone rat us out? Sir Verm, what should we do? Well, we might as well try to stick to Bree's peaceful plan. This is all a misunderstanding. 
Oi, where does the late night book club? Yeah, where are your books? Okay, well, so much for that. On to the direct approach then. Let's rock! Hello. I mean, yes, I want to do Blade Storm, but. Out of our way, pinheads. Like, hey, you can't call us that. Wow, Siobhan has a lot of energy. Maybe I can, can take that energy off and. Mm. Like, yes, I, I could be attacking with all of them right now, but. Come on, we gotta see what Blade Storm looks like, right? Five slashes in a row. Alrighty then. That was more than five. Oh, because I was raging, so it did ten. Wow. Oi, what's all this violence? What happened to the player? Sheesh, well, in for a seed, in for a sapling, I suppose. Let's move, quickly. Uh, before we move quickly, okay, you don't need that. You really don't need that much, uh, energy. Yeah. Five energy, you don't need six energy, Siobhan. But I want to set things on fire, I know. Hey, look, mate, just let us through. Man, we have a right to protest, you know? Uh, not tonight, you don't. Back it in right now, spend the night behind bars. This is mad, I've never seen the guards so proactive. There's no reasoning with them. Step aside. Hi. You're gonna use Blade Storm on us too? Nah. I'll see just in case. Yeah, I don't wait since. I don't. I'm not gonna use Blade Storm. I'm gonna let them deal with it. Eh, sword break. Boink. Yeah, whatever. We, we can do a cadenza. Let's do a cadenza. All right, this is... Rondo of Restlessness. Fantasia of Fury, sure. What a great song. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, boop, boop. Everyone gets berserk. Well. Well. All right. That one's fun. Your protest ends here, hooligan scum. If it's violence you want, it's violence you'll get. <sighs> How far has the Thimble Guard fallen? Rosalie? My sister's still recovering, but I'm here. The Guard's a broken organization and a broken kingdom. I was a fool for ever supporting it. Let me lend my sword to your cause. Run by us. Aye, the more the merrier. Is that Rosaline? That tenacious minx! She's come for my head! The barricades will set up, Sir Alex, sir! Good, don't let a single one of the bastards through. So, uh, Rosaline, you, you wanna... What the? How are we meant to get through this? Verm, let's find a way around and flank them. Yeah, right. We have a right to walk down the street, you know. Yes, yeah, one pointy barricade! There's no vaulting over this! Go, oh, flank him from behind. We'll form a distraction. Hi. Oh, the guards are prowling. If any ask, I'll tell them you four ran the other way. Thanks. I am. Er, uh, sir? Er, uh, whatever you are, you can't be here. Get back inside. Are you serious? I'm not doing anything. It doesn't matter what you're doing. I said get back inside. Why? Are we doing curfews now or something? Meh, yeah, you gonna tuck us in? Give us a bedtime story? Uh, shut it up there! You're both starting to piss me off. Whoa, 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 sorry, but you lot need to go home. Nah, we're just passing through. No, that's not possible. Disband immediately. You're being too polite, Bob. I'll show you how to handle these low-life reprobates. This is Merida's finest. <laughs> They're nothing but ungodly cockgun. Sir George. Fancy seeing you outside of Whitehall. Gwen. 
Fancy seeing you instigating yet more chaos. You're the same as ever, stubborn and petulant. But you did open my eyes to the horrors of the gods. If the yellow god is accursed as the white, that's not a deity worth worship. I'm here to fight by your side. Well, your help is appreciated. Thanks for coming. Firm, let's mosey. Maruta's finest. <laughs> they lack discipline. You got guts. There's hope for Merida yet. What is all the ruckus? I want to join your protest, but I can't paint from a prison cell. True. Nothing for me up there, but I wanted to talk to the other person. Hi. Hey, cafe's closed. I'm busy cleaning up. What kind of caffeine addict wants coffee right before bedtime anyway? The kind doing a riot. Civil unrest runs on caffeine. See? Man, I'm sleepy. See if they had some caffeine. What's Alex thinking getting everyone up at this hour? Hey, get it together, Vicky. We got a king to protect. Hey, hey where did you lot come from? Don't move. You're all under arrest. Oh, what a pain. There's no end to these tin heads. Keep your paws off the air of Cranbell. Blade Master in the main. What are you doing here? Did Mammy send you? She did. But she didn't ask me to drag you home. She told me to support you however I can. This fight's important to you, and if this is who you are, then I will stand by your side. Thank you, Namain. Let's go, we're almost at the barricade. These two didn't put up much of a fight, eh? Hello. What? How, how, how did you get past the barricade? Well, whatever. Let's get this over with. Rage. Fire! We've got all the basics covered of a right. We've got rage. We've got fire. We've got stabbing. And we've got a flute. Are you sure that's part of... I... Every good riot needs a flute. We all know that. Deadly of muddlement? Question... Hey, how about etude of explosions? As I said, every good riot needs a flute. Barricade down! Let's go! Nicely done, you four. No time to waste. To the palace! Yeah, though we were, we were on it. Actually, what the... Uh, the nerve of the guard to set up a barricade outside my little shop. Go kick their arses. Will do, librarian. Will do. Actually, anyone at the docks want to say anything? No. People at the docks want to clear out. Eh, hello. All right, that's the wharf secured. What's next? Hey! Oh, damn it. We were so close. Let's go! Anton, why are you here? I want to fight too, Lapa. Babe, I love you, but you're not exactly a brawler. Oh, stop babying me. I'm not some soft boy to be left behind while you go adventuring. I can handle myself. I can fight. Oh, you're right. I should stop babying you. Let's give him hell. Yeah, I'll race you to the palace. Uh, you're losing the race, but... To the palace! Yeah, okay, okay. I don't think you know what race means. I'm winning! Wow, that's a lot of people. Whatever, I can take it. Squad! Attention! The portcullis is down in triple lock. Nobody's breaking into the palace tonight. We're gonna win this battle. Aye! We're gonna beat these upstarting little miscreants bloody. Uh... I? And I'm gonna snatch my Blade Master title back from that stupid blonde twink. Um... Gee, that's a lot of guards. I think we can take them all. We fought worse odds, but with only an hour until the 13th hour. That's not enough time. We need a new strategy. Stilton, I'll keep the bastards distracted. You show the wild ones the secret you found. You got it. Secret? 
Don't get killed when I'm gone, Bree. Oh, don't be daft. I'm a soft cheese by name, but I'm hard by nature. I'll take the whole guard and bring them, then some to bring me down. Right you are. You four, follow me. Okay, where is this secret passage we've heard so much about? This way. When they're like, there's no secret passages, none at all, the entire game. Up here. Stilton was here. S for Stilton. This is just a shipyard storage room. Shh, wait, 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 wait. Do 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 do. Ta da! Whoa, a secret tunnel. Where does it lead? Believe it or not, right into the palace. You dug this yourself? Nah, not me. I was the one to stumble upon it, though. One of the fancy emergency escape passages. Royal must have had it dug eons ago. No time to waste. Good luck, all. Give that yellow god hell. Well, you're not coming with us. I got my own fight to join. Gotta keep those guards occupied while you do your thing. All right, here goes. Steve, what news from Sergeant Alex? Um, not great. Word is things quickly got violent. The city barricades were overrun. So Alex rallied every guard to defend the palace portcullis. Every guard in one spot? Even the ones on palace patrol duty? Is that bad? Uh, return to your post, Steve. Yes, Blade Master. Death gods above, rioters at the gates. Dear, oh dear, this is a most precarious situation. His Majesty's safety is paramount. We must leave the palace immediately. Yes, we can use the emergency tunnels. One tunnel leads to the wharf, which will give us access to the under river. A swift egress. No time to lose. Shall we go, your majesty? This is fortuitous. Your majesty? The timing. It's fortuitous the peasants chose to attack on tonight of all nights. We can solve two problems at once. I don't understand. Lord Master, send an urgent memo to Plague Master Aquila. Grant him the authority to use Excalibur. Effective immediately. Ophiuchus, hold that order. Your Majesty, unleashing Excalibur may deter the Yellow God, but if my understanding of the weapon's correct, it would kill countless rodents, members of your own kingdom whom you're sworn to serve. There are riotous louts who wish to put my head on a pike. Their lives are forfeit. Lord Master, stop dithering and write the memo. Um, your mad. Oh, wait, I started using his voice. Um, your Majesty, this decision, it's not to be made lightly. Please deliberate. By the gods, you are both pathetic. I'll issue the order myself. Your Majesty, what would your mother do? My mother, she desired strength and stability. Virtues that you know nothing of. Move. And dead civilians, is that the price of a strong and stable kingdom? Unbelievable. How can a royal blade master be so naive? You should know better than all that this palace is built from blood and bone. Every right, every privilege. No, our whole Rodentian way of life is maintained at the end of a sword. So don't stand there in the garb of a knight and act like you're better than our violent institution. You are the bloody institution. God. He's right. Such an idiot. It's always been this way, hasn't it? The palace of blood and bone. For as long as we've had kings who rule and peasants who serve. Perhaps even longer. Oh, you kiss. Go to the armory and fetch my needles. Your swords. All of them. Hurry, now. Godspeed, Needle Knight. You... You're... the worst. Traitor! 
What did you just do, you treasonous bastard? I didn't wish to spill the blood of my king, and I don't wish to kill my own brethren. It's too late for regrets. You've made your choice, king killer. Then come, attack me. But you've all heard the songs. You've witnessed my needlework. You know that when we cross blades, I'll be the only one left standing. He, he's right. Uh, yeah, I'm not throwing my life away against the Vulpus Slayer. Has the Thimble Guard become a coven of traitors and cowards? Diego, please turn away. Thou broke thy oath, Blade Master. I did, to protect the kingdom. What is a kingdom without a king? A king who murders his own people isn't a king worth serving. That's not our judgment to make. Duty is not beholden to whim. What does your duty say? Does it compel you to fight me? It compels me to execute you. I don't want to do this, Diego. You're my dearest. And you are mine. That makes the hammer of justice all the heavier. We're in! Oi, but are we safe? Yeah, oh, safe's a relative term. Oh, yeah, not a creature stirring. Reed's diversion is working even better than hoped. So what's the plan now? Well, we have two threats to deal with, Excalibur and the Yellow God. But it's minutes to the Witching Hour, which do we prioritize? I figured this might happen. I've already made up my mind. You three go, stop the Plague Master and their Doomsday Weapon. I'll speak with the King. What, alone? Yeah, we'll just tell him about the Yellow God and ask about a route to the surface. Are you sure, Sir Verm? You're not exactly, you know, an eloquent orator. What? You're bad with words, lad, especially around authority figures. Oh. Well, you're right. But I don't think it'll matter. I doubt a fancy speech would change anyone's heart at this point. Are you sure, you're, sure you know what you're doing? You just focus on Excalibur. We trust you. Good luck, Sir Verm. Why, you can do it. Give him hell. And then they take the strongest member of your party out. Well, that's one way to make a boss my boss match harder. Maybe I should save it. Well, there's a save in the elevator. We're moving! A strange workshop, a secret passageway, a godly lift? Where exactly are we going, Siobhan? Up. Excalibur is at the top of the tower. I think the Plague Master knows we're coming. Top floor, doomsday weapons. Apocalypse incoming. Thank you. Quila. Odd. I was expecting a message from the king. Instead, I'm greeted by a by apprentice, a lab rat, and a squirrel with a recorder. Whatever, it doesn't matter. The king's permission was nothing but a formality anyway. Soon the yellow god will make his entrance and the power of Excalibur shall be revealed. We won't let you do that. There's nothing left for me to do. The system is fully automated. Soon the bell will ring its 13th chime. At that moment, the ballista will release, slinging the sky egg through this clock face to the halls below. The egg will explode, and the yellow god will perish. Along with half of Murida. Regrettably. 
Just over four minutes to go. Siobhan, can you dismantle Excalibur? I can try. Ah, uh, now, tampering with the egg I cannot permit. Oh, I, you think you can take us? Take you? I'm an aging academic with no battle experience. Of course I can't take you. But I don't need to win. I just need to delay. They got a point. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hi. A little bit of Psycho Mantis for your day? Okay. Hey, I know you. Ow. Stop that. I've killed you once, Moose Droid. I'll do it again. Era. The current rate of species extinction is 1,000 times the background rate. Humanity's increased consumption and reproduction are among the primary drivers. The biodiversity crisis caused by habitat destruction has so far... I mean, I want to comment on the thing, but... The music is great, the background, like, talking stuff is great. What's this? A toxic bomb?! Hey. Oh, everything about this fight is amazing. The fact that it is like, yeah, I don't need to beat the fight, I just need to stall you long enough. Um... With the timer going right behind my head. You've got that just clicking down the whole time. You've got this awesome, like, techno music with the whole, like, um... Yeah, the... Yeah. This is simply unsustainable. So yeah, you got that going as the background music. And then you have, like, him doing his floating Psycho Mantis thing, just the throw off the cloak and... Whoop. Oh, this fight is amazing. I love it. Oh, no, this is gonna... Oh, there's no time for improv. You know what there is time for? Hitting you. Whack. I guess because, like, Cadenza, like... Pauses stuff and um okay defend rally Ugh. Okay, overclock we're running out of time attack boop do your attack faster sir no okay I might actually lose this Oh no, he's got no help. Still, 40 seconds left. It's a flute, not a recorder! Oh, oh wait, we have to defeat M Moose Droid too? I mean, yeah, I should just hit him, but... Hellfire! Whoop, 27.71 seconds. To think you could wield such strength with godly trinkets. A rodent's life really is short and pathetic. Siobhan, there's no time to lose. R right. Oh no. This is more complex than any gob tech I'm familiar with. I'll just smash it up. No, that's far too risky. Wait, I may not know the construction of the fire egg. But I know this ballista. Ropes, pulleys, cogs, and gears. This is mole engineering. Help me turn this lever. 
I hope you know what you're doing, Siobhan. Shut up and pull! The bell. Well, nothing happened. Right, we disarmed the ballista. So Excalibur itself is still active? Yes, but it's not going anywhere. It poses no more threat to Murata. Uh, good enough, I suppose. No point hanging around this death egg. Let's mosey. The king adjures. The king bleeds out on the floor, but you know. Same difference. Hello? Hmm. Well, something happened here. There's lots of needle swords, a hammer smashed into the ground, blood on the floor. And look at that, and a new king. Vagabond, so it is you. Blade Master Leo, here to talk with the king. Uh, you missed your chance for that, I'm afraid. Not that his majesty was open to conversation. I don't know what happened here, but I don't particularly care. There's a route to the surface from this room, right? Yellow God of Death is coming. Let me use the passage and I'll stop him. A mouse like you cannot kill a god. You lack the weight. Worth a shot, right? I might actually be able to do it. Honestly? Yeah, you might. That possibility terrifies me. What will happen when you do the impossible, slay an immortal god? Will the citizens deify you? Will they crown you Verm, the mouse who stands above gods? I dread to think what you could do with such power. Well, hold on, I don't have any intention of ruling anyone. So you'd leave this country godless and kingless? Would that be wrong? What is a kingdom without a king? I honestly don't know. I can't even conceive of such a place. This palace of blood and bone is grotesque, but beyond it lies the unknown. And that's where the true horrors lie. But you don't care, do you? You're the kind of mouse who would see the kingdom in ruins to serve your quest. That's why you'll go no further. I won't toy with you like last time. One strike is all I need. Yeah, funny thing about that. Oh, that won't save you. Yeah, funny thing about that. Huh? You... You dodged it. You're faster than before. Yeah, stronger too. That remains to be seen. I'll show you strength. Oulanet! Ow. That hurts. Wheel! Bonk! You can't parry without a sword, Blade Master. No matter. <laughs> I brought spares. Herm's rage subsided. <laughs> like, I'm gonna get you. Oh, okay, that's kind of funny. Now, here's the thing. So it took, what, seven hits to break a sword? Um, I wonder if that matters, if you have uh, rage up or not. Although I suppose you do less slashes with, uh, without rage. It's like, well, you're not doing damage, but it's like, do I need to bother raging? But yeah, I get... Oh, no, okay. Yeah, I, I don't think I need to. Defending. Do it again. <laughs> yes, you are stronger. You still have no weight. Look, I'm not here to judge your... Oh, yes, I get it. You're a, you're a strong swordsman. 
I'm not here to doubt that. But. Trump him in. Ow. I might need more healing items on me. I'm gonna have to redo this. Um, yeah, yeah I, I'm not here to doubt your, your judgment as, as Blade Master, but I am breaking all of your weapons. Just saying. You have no weight. Never mind that you're snapping everything. You stand for nothing. You believe in nothing. Uh, maybe I rage just to get healing. I stand against you, and that's enough. Ow. Ow. Again. I believe in this kingdom. I believe in its future. Even when a king loses his way, the kingdom itself must survive. What alternative is there? Answer me, vagabond! Ooh. Now he's... raging. Well, we can answer. The kingdom's not my problem. You don't care at all, destructive thing. I mean, I want to rage again so I can see what I say, but... I am kind of running out of health. So I'm going to have to take the opportunity to smash it up. Are you trying to break every sword in this room? No, you lack the conviction. Bring out a hundred more and I'll break them too. Okay, not when you do that though. I've stabbed you a dozen times. You still stab. That's not conviction. That's a spiteful tenacity. Like, eh. Maybe. You got one left, buddy. Running out of blades, Blade Master. Let's hope it's enough. Because if this doesn't break it, I lose. Woo! You're out of swords, Blade Master. Vagabond. You had a dozen opportunities to slay me in that duel. You held back. Why? Is your intent to humiliate me? Or is your twisted notion of chivalry? Uh, maybe I should finish you off. It's what you deserve. The kingdom is rotten. The royals and barons and dukes and nobles are all scum. The knights are scum, you included. The yellow god is knocking, and you're all busy protecting your empty palace. The rot runs deeper than you, or the king, or any titan or god. I know that killing you won't remove the rot, so I thought I'd break your tools instead. What's a blade master without a blade? Just another mouse. Gods, you are hopelessly naive. You actually believe you can cut the golden hero from the corrupted knights, the individual from the institution? Impossible. Once the fabric is woven, no amount of needlework can return you the original thread. But having said that, you are astute and sincere. I feel the weight of your words. Perhaps there is some slither of hope for this godless, kingless country. Perhaps a devil can succeed where a golden lion cannot. The door to your left leads to the godly halls above. Godspeed, vagabond. Like maybe you can, maybe a devil will 
guide this country when the Golden King cannot... Like, I'm still not guiding this country. I don't care what you say. I'm on a mission, and this is my mission. You deal with the rest of it. Therm! What in the hell's happened in the throne room? Uh, I can't say for sure. I wasn't actually there for most of it. What about Excalibur? It's out of action. Okay, great. Then we can focus on what lies above us. I don't know what we'll see. The yellow god might be waiting. We can handle it. We're in this together, remember? One for all and all for one. Right. We can do this. It's time to level up. Uh, I guess you get some health. Yes! Heals more! You can just get some energy. Now, Verm, on the other hand. We can do that, but if we take away... I don't know. Final strike of a multi-part attack hits twice as hard. While Berserk heals two health at the start of each turn. I think we take off that. We take off the one bleed... Because then we, can, we can get one more energy, and then Verm's attack deal 50% extra damage against gods. I think we might want that in the coming fight. Legendary Mouse Artura. Here she stands, guarding Merida. Are you ready? Hell, tread softly. I see no god here. My head is spinning. That's the smoke, and it's only going to get worse. Let's kill the source. We're right by your side, Verm. Welcome to hell. Population, these four badasses. Is that the source? It's some sort of smoke-making machine. Give me a moment, I should be able to find an off button. Nah, I've got a better idea. Let's tear it to pieces! Oh, that's 20 health. Okay. Oh, only three damage though. Mm. And bazoop. Okay, two damage. I do kind of like that's like, all right, you just like fought like the Blade Master and like you fought a Cobra and all that, and like you're doing a lot of damage. And then, but then when you actually fight like an actual human machine, it really isn't doing all that much damage, your weapons. Yeah, even Verm, who's got. Extra damage against gods as five. Because, you know, it's a smoke machine. With, you know, a lighter and a scalpel and a pocket knife. Nothing to it. It's him. Sir Verm, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. 
But I'm not running. Altogether, we might just get through this. Aye, right, let's show him just how loud us rodents can roar. Let's give him hell. This one's for my tail. All right. Huh. Unknown um, attack right foot of God, attack left foot of God. Uh, let's go for the right foot first, I guess. With an unknown amount of health. Yeah, no, while you're at it, Siobhan. Or not Siobhan, uh, while you're at it, Gwen, can you maybe also turn down the uh, attack and health of that one? Eh. Get him. Ooh, now there we go. Pack up those little boots. This isn't working. We need to get higher. Oh, there's those creepy hands again. Hello. Weird that he doesn't have gloves on. Like, I can see your fingernails, sir. This one's for my brother! Alright, let's... 600 health! Oh my goodness. Ah. I mean, yeah, I'm doing like 20 a hit and stuff, but my, my, my. Yeesh. Hey, let's sky vault on here. There we go. Bleeding there. No, you stop that. Although at least they don't have a scalp to go like chop, 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 chop. Because that... That was a problem. Alright, focus. Focus on one. Yeah, that works. That works just fine. Uh, let's get you more energy so that you can heal people next turn. Ooh, Divine Wrath. Uh-oh. Hey! Hey! You let them go! And none of that now. No one has the hell. Sorry, I mean, I know the music's cool and all, but... Um... Huh. Mm. Sure. Rondo of Restlessness. I'm hoping that gives us... Yes, that gave us all energy. Uh, I think we take... Yeah, we'll take... 
Because, like, yes, I want to get to Blade Storm again, but since I still have one turn of Rage, use it while we can. Take out one of the hands. Uh, we will wait so we can Sky Vault. We will heal. And are we in a church? Or what? Trying to figure it out. Uh, well... Uh, you missed a previous stream. Um, well, to them, to, to the rodents, you are in hell. The uh, other answer, according to Aquila, who told us before, is you are in the halls of parliament. You are, you are, Merida is located literally below parliament in London. All right, we need energy. Energy. More energy. I think leave her alone. Ugh. Okay, well you have overclock on. Alright, uh do I need to sky vault? Yes I do. You are running out of Explains the theater style chairs, but also the scepter. Yes. Um, now I want to. I think I just heal. I was thinking, like, I could try to do Cadenza again and Rondo of Restlessness, give everyone energy, but. Okay, I was gonna get Rage going, but no. Let them go! Oh, I need energy. Buy it. It's an overclock. Okay, you stop. You stop. You rally, everyone. The bleeding stopped. Oh, that hurt. How much health do you have left? 188. Yeah, we'll try raging. You get some hellfire on. Bop. And you double break again. This is why you should always wear gloves when you're going to clean up a mess. One twenty-eight. Oh, rate. Right. Will Cleave take that out? I've. I think it should. Cleave should work. Yeah. Whew. He's faltering. But he's not going down. Our weapons aren't enough. Help me lift this thing. This thing is a mace, right? A godly weapon? Boy, but the weight! We can do this! Siobhan's right. All together now. You know, he's just like, Ah, the rodents are making off with the scepter. Run. Uh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> Bye, Clock Tower. 
Uh, winter. I mean, to be fair, she specifically said we never disarmed the bomb. We just disarmed the ballista. I hate it. Hi, it's a good statue, Sir Verm. Oi, very close likeness. That's not the point, it's just... It's gross. The people want to show their appreciation. Let them. Buzz will die down in a couple of days. Then you can topple it, use it for target practice, piss on it, whatever. Thank you, Gwen. I would very much like that. Sir Verm, there's a couple of things I need to discuss with you in private. Uh, stay a while, have a chat with everyone. When you're done, come meet me in the throne room. All right. Hey, Bruce, just wanted to say thanks again for fetching me from Venium. Oh, uh, nay bother. It was the least I could do after what you did for me. Oh, right. Sky Garden. How are things over there? Good and tidy. Now that the dust has settled a bit, it's a genuine city of the people. No gods, no masters, you know? So you and Anton can just mill about all day? Well, I pretty much. Good times all around. Nice. How's the tail? Holding up fine. I don't think I could have bested Blademaster Leo without it. Glad to hear it. So, you let Leo live? I did. You judging me for it? <sighs> if it were me in the throne room, I would have gutted the bastard. At least tried to. The guard have had rodents under their thumb for century. Where's the justice for those victims? I don't think a privileged golden boy like Leo deserves a second chance. But I don't judge you. No. You showed compassion. You spared a life. I'm not so heartless as to call that weakness. You followed your own philosophy. A philosophy that's resolute but forgiving. I can respect that. Hmm. Can we go out? Or are we stuck? I'm not leaving just yet. We don't have to worry about, like, going and talking to everyone out there. Oh boy, this place is huge! Hi, Mushroom Meg. You could probably fit a couple of hundred houses in this palace, and with a bit of handiwork, we might do that! So, hey, I'm not gonna lie, kind of struggled to get down here. Wait, how did you get down here, Dizzy? Ah, struggle. Can you elaborate? No. I just wanted to say, don't be a stranger, alright? Yo, bet you thought you saw the last of me. Uh, you're the thief. Hey, there's more to me than thieving. I'm the one and only Pocket Jabari, the Trickster King. Uh, careful. I hear it's a bad time for kings. <gasps> well, you're right. Maybe it's time for a new moniker. Pocket Jabari, the Trickster Tycoon. Eh, maybe not. I hear a lore master position just opened up. Lore master to whom, though? That's the million seed question. Ah, huh. that makes me wonder then. So if Siobhan's in the throne room, but the lore master position opened up. Also, I should keep talking to other people since everyone else had stuff to say. Oh, uh, hey, how are you holding up? Mentally, I mean. Well, that's quite a question. I'm fine, just, I don't know, a bit tired. Eh, yeah, no surprise there. Come drop by Sky Garden if you need a break. We can have a wee party. We'll keep it low key, you know, play some knife darts or something. Yeah, sure, that sounds nice. Javon seemed pretty antsy. I have no idea what they want to tell you. Okay, so that's all you have to say. What are you going to do now? Urida has some charm. I might settle here for a bit, help out however I can. Help out? Just like with Sky Garden, there's work to do, right? What, a monarchy falls and suddenly everything's hunky-dory? I wish it were that easy. Mice are still hungry and homeless, the plague's still running rampant, nobles still hoard their riches. Progress comes bit by bit, little by little. I don't think there'll ever be a point where we can just dust our paws and call it a day. So it never ends? All the more reason to do the work, no? Given any more thought to your nature? My nature? Yeah, that we chatted about up on the statue. All right. I don't know, it's a big question. Let me sweet sleep on it and I'll get back to you. A good call, you look shattered. Get some rest, dude. I told Lady Gilda that Siobhan is thriving. She was glad to hear it. She's even thinking about apologizing, if you can believe that. Whether Siobhan wants to hear it, 
That's up to them. Crambale is safe from any threat, be it tiger or something else. I'll see to that. Whitehall has fallen, but it is not the end. In the dead of night, I rounded up the rats and rabbits who remained. We left the institute, found some grasslands, and started anew. It's a humble village, just a burrow dug beneath a brambly hedge. But it's our own, and it's free of gods. Please pardon my blasphemy. Eh, nothing to pardon. You're welcome in Nodhebduye any time. Hey, that's the same the, the name Gwen said for her. Hey, we just dropped out to say thanks for the farm. It's nothing. No need for the humility. It's a big deal. Well, if you both want to return the favor, I've got a job for you. You hold on to this for me. A key? Yeah, for my house. I got some things to do and don't know when I'll next be in Vanium. Easy enough. Sure thing, ghost. Don't be a stranger, all right? Well, he's not happy to be godless he's just i mean he saw that that gwen was able to strike out and do stuff on her own you know as he says he's like we're we're living in a place without gods pardon the blasphemy so you know he's still he's still got some of his old ways but you now he's changing little bit by little bit wow what the painting got nothing else anton nope can we finally look in this treasure chest over here? I really want to. Half the thimble guards quit. The other half's in a daze. I doubt the order will last the winter. Maybe we need a new organization. One that serves the people. You think that's possible? What happens now? Morale dropped pretty quick once we learned what happened to the king. No point defending a dead rat. He can't pay our wages from the next world. Alright, can we, can we finally open this? You found a slice of lemon cake. Mmm, freshly baked. Hey! Bon appetit. We finally got it! Lemon cake with a lavender drizzle. Heals 30 health. If I recall, I think the Needle Knight comic did have a thing about some, like, lemon cake crumbs or something. And, like, they, like, Leo's nickname, they were calling him Lemon and he couldn't remember why. So that's funny. You sure took a beating. Uh, this is nothing. You should see the other guys. <laughs> uh, but really, yeah, it, it could have gone much worse. It should have gone much worse. Only thanks to the paw of fate, we made it through with all our whiskers intact. Hey, don't sell yourself short. Yeah, we got lucky, but it was all our blood and sweat that put everything into action. Uh, right you are. We really did it. Don't tell Stilton, but I'm going to propose to him when things have cooled down. Did you seriously best Leo in a duel? I find that difficult to believe. His dueling skill was ter terrifying, otherworldly. But if anyone could do it, it would have been you, the mouse who cheated death. How did you make him yield? I broke all his swords. Oh. Huh. What you going to do now? Uh, Maisie and I will leave the city for a bit, and the kingdom too, most likely. I ought to say farewell. Mm, let's leave it at until next time. Right, until next time, Verm. Take care. How are you feeling? Much better. Rosie and me are getting out of Murida. Ooh, where are you going to go to? I don't know. Somewhere lush and green, I hope. That sounds peaceful. I'm going to keep swinging my sword, though. I want to get stronger. Strong enough that Rosie doesn't feel like she has to protect me. And maybe one day you and me can have a rematch. A rematch? Well, we'll see about that. Mark my words, I'm going to be as strong as you. Guess what? I'm going full time with my art. You know Molly, the painter from the Merchant Quarter? I do. We're going to open an exhibition together right here in the Palace Galleries. That sounds cool. Maybe I'll come and see it. Please do! Don't tell Bree, but uh, I picked out a ring for him. Ah, uh, you guys are funny. Like, don't tell, don't tell Stilton. I'm going to propose to him. Stilton's like, ah, don't tell Bree. I'm going to propose to him. Like, funny and cute. The best of luck to you both. I was this close to getting promoted to sergeant. And the thimble guard went and disbanded. What do I do now? Got some thinking to do. Oh, you guys are still here. Hello, you guys. 
Aren't you worried, Magnus? Don't you know the Prolis will be after our heads next? Well, then let's not give them a reason to act. Say the same thing if I talk to you? Yeah. I've written a record of that night. Anyone you want to know about? Wow. All right, sure. Lay it on us. Tell me about the king. Uh, yeah, he's dead as a doornail. Leo shanked him good in front of half a dozen witnesses. No room for conspiracy theories, I'm afraid. Never met him, but the king's lore master? Ophicus? Oh, or oh, Ophiuchus? However you pronounce it. The king's lore master? Ophiuchus. <laughs> he was last seen in the throne room right before everything got crazy. Word is he supported Leo's coup? Well, that surprises me. I had Ophiuchus. Ophiuchus is down as one of them don't rock the boat brand of politicos. What was his end game? What was his deal? I don't really get it. But in any case, he found a way out of the city before dawn. My bet is he's gone to retire somewhere in the Outlands. Aquila. Uh, didn't they, like, fucking explode? That was your lot's account of the events anyway. Siobhan said something about a backup timer, detonation, whatever that means. That reminds me, have you heard the crazy god activity going on upstairs? God's coming and going, stomping and hollering. You think they're pissed off you exploded their clock tower? Ah, uh, it's just a clock tower. What's the big deal? <laughs> Who knows? And I stand corrected. They will drop an F-bomb in the game after you drop a real bomb. To be fair, you didn't drop it. You just blew it up. But... I mean, about Leo. Uh, he vanished. You were the last person to see him. Makes sense. Javon and the others didn't see him, so right after I duel, he must have gone through a secret passage and left the city. Did you know his daughter disappeared too? Actually, did you know he even had a daughter? He sure liked to keep that private. No, I didn't. Where are they now? Well, he hasn't been seen in Rodentia, so your guess is as good as mine. Hey, well, what's your guess? Um, one time I heard him tell Diego he dreamed of settling down in Ermorio someday. Yeah, that's where he went? The land over the southern seas? about Diego. I didn't witness Sir Diego's duel with Leo myself, and I'm glad for that. Despite his cold exterior, Diego was a good friend of mine. Leo was too. Then... Oh, sorry. Could you ask me about something else? Anyone else? How about Fancy Hat Squirrel? Oh, Alex. When the news broke that the king was dead, Alex was the first to break rank and flee. Sailor at Canard's Wharf spotted a well-dressed squirrel jumping into the water. He was probably hoping to make a quick escape from the city, maybe swim into the depths of the Underriver. But instead, he just straight up sank. Guess the sterling knight floats like silver. All right, well then. I'm done. Thanks, Steve. So what's in this doorway? Ah. All this time, you've been like, we're scraping by for seeds. It all started at the beginning, and then you come in. What's this room right off the palace? A mountain of seeds. Yeah. Good riddance, King Richard. I Well, I was going to dance on his blood spatter grave stuff, but instead I'll approach Siobhan. What's up? Sir Verm? There's something troubling I learned from Plague Master Aquila's notes. I'm sorry to tell you this, but... There are many yellow gods. Not just one. In fact, it's very likely the yellow god we fought isn't the same one you saw as a child. Oh, yeah, I know. I always knew. Well, at least I figured that any god could wear the yellow god's robes. I guess from the outside my quest looked a bit stupid, but I never had any delusions about what I was doing. I knew I was never going to get my brother, my tail back from the yellow god, so I chased the yellow god's shadow. The hunt brought me... I don't know, not quite peace, but something. An outlet. Direction for my anger. I see... Is that the reason why you let him go? What do you mean? Well, there's a lot of gossip in the city why you didn't kill the Yellow God. Some think you let him go as an act of mercy. 
Others think it was so he could stay, relay a message to the other gods, stay away from Murida. But to me, those reasons didn't add up. So is it that you held back because you knew he wasn't the right god? You knew it wouldn't be real justice? No. That's not it at all. As far as I care, this yellow god is as guilty as the last. I let him go because... Well... I'm tired. It's exhausting, the struggle, I mean. I've been angry my whole life. That fire is what kept me going. But it burned me away, bit by bit, like a candle that's reached its end. When I looked into the yellow god's eyes, I didn't see the reflection of a mouse. Just a ghost. Sorry, that's not a very satisfying answer. No, no, it's fine. I appreciate your honesty. Are you okay, Sir Verm? Yeah, never better. Hey, who runs the kingdom now? Well, there's a royal line of succession. The king never had any children. There are others in his bloodline, cousins and the like, but nobody's come forward to assert their claim. Probably scared off, off after hearing about the old king's death. Not to mention the whole god of death apocalypse thing. Most likely. So for now, at least, the golden throne is vacant. Huh. Nobody should sit on that thing. Then who would rule Murida? Or Rodentia, for that matter? Does it need a ruler? I suppose not. I'm gonna go take a walk. Where to? I might leave the city, maybe head to the Outlands. My home village is there. Can I come? I'd rather walk alone today. Sir Verm! Bruce, Gwen, and me, we're all here for you. You know that, right? I know. You're the best friends I could have ever hoped for. Pilgrim, the world stretches yonder. It's, uh... Oh, so... Nightfo, Frey Frey, Pocket Jabari, Stephen Keller, where the... Okay, all these people are backer characters. Well, we know. See, I don't know which characters they did, but I think we can take a guess on Pocket Jabari. Maybe which character they designed. Yeah, that, that was just an amazing game. I, I love that game. You know, it's, say, for, for me personally, that, that's two in a row for my, uh, um, what's the variety game? Because Doki Doki Literature, as I said, I had played before, and that was a great experience, and like, yeah, I know didn't do well on YouTube because, I, you know, most people have already seen it. That's fine. But yeah, this, it was, this game just, it had everything really. Like, it was charming. Just like the, the world design, the characters, like the story was great. It was fun. It was funny. You know, it had a little bit of everything. It was like the, the only criticism and it's not even really a criticism, like, it's it's not necessarily a positive, but it's not really a negative. The only detraction, I guess, you could maybe make about it is that the combat was a little on the easy side. But I don't think that's necessarily a problem. 
No, I guess the problem is because I erased over my save, I can't... Yeah. We can't go out to the, uh... And, like, go out to the bar or something, but... Oh, well. Um... Yeah, the, the only problem... Or, like, a fault, I guess. Just the, the combat being a little easy... Now, not always, like, the, you know, the... The fight against the white god, that was... That was in, that was rough. But, you know, overall, it's fine. But I'd say it's okay because, like, the flip side of that is if you try and make combat really hard. And that can detract from the game. And my example for that is, um, if you've ever heard of or played, uh, there's a game called Bug Fable. Or maybe it's A Bug Fable, something like that. Um, which is also... It, it's sort of a similar, it's a different like style thing, but it's a, you know, you're bugs instead of rodents. But again, it's like, you know, you're little insects in the insect world. And, um, you know, it's also very cute and charming. Um, and it's very much, uh, like if you like Paper Mario, especially like if you like Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, that's how I learned about it. It's like, if you like this game, you'll like Bug Fable. And I did. Because it's, it's that sort of graphics, that sort of combat that, um, but the problem with it is, Bug Fable did come with a hard mode, and I was like, oh yeah, like, I, oh, I'm i good at these games, I'll do hard mode, but the hard mode was really hard. And of course, I did that the first time, because I'm like, oh yeah, I'll do hard mode, and it didn't make it bad, but I feel like it did sort of detract from the overall experience, um, which, again, is my fault, I could have played on normal, but you know. I'm one of those gamers, I'm like, oh, there's a hard mode, well, I guess I have to play hard mode, because why not? You know, that's that's on me. But yeah, so I, I don't mind that, you know, as I said, like, it maybe the combat could have been a little harder, but I think it's okay that it's not super hard, so that it doesn't detract from the overall charm of everything else. Because then if you're just like, oh, I'm so frustrated at this one fight trying to get it perfect, like, you know, that takes away from stuff. So, yeah. And again, like, as I said, that's not even really a con. It's just in the, like, the neutral category and everything else. Like, the music, amazing. The characters, amazing. The story, great. Like, the fact those, like, the story's like, you know, it starts out like, oh, we're gonna go and we're gonna fight the human, but then, you know, it evolves in the thing. And it's like, oh, we're gonna save the thing and there's the bomb. And then, you know, use, I don't know. It's, I'd say the best praise I can give for this. And I, I'm telling you it's praise because you might not think of it as praise is it leaves me wanting more of the same world, but not the same story. You know, I say that as, for instance, I had the same reaction the first time I read uh, Stardust by Neil Gaiman, who's one of my favorite authors. You know, it, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, like, I've seen these characters, I've seen this story, but there's so much more to this world I want to experience. Like, I don't need, like, we don't need Small Saga 2 and, like, well, now let's see where Verm goes. What does Siobhan do? What's Gwen do? What's No, like, it. they had their story. They're wrapped up. That's great. And, you know, like, maybe if you did do, like, another thing of the same thing, like, maybe you'd see one of them as cameo or whatever. But, like, I want to see other places. Like, I want to see other parts of, like, outside of Rodentia, but, like, still, like, what's it like, you know? I mean, even not necessarily in England. Like, what happens in other parts of the world? Is it like this? I mean, even if you're not doing that, like other parts of England that aren't London, like how do all the things work there? Like what are, what are those rodents up to? What are they getting up to with their lives and stuff? You know, it just seems it's. It's great. Now, I, I say that as like someone who just played the game, like I understand, like, OK, fine, you created a really cool world and stuff, but like making a story and combat and mechanics and like game design, like I realize that's. Yeah, it's the easy part. I'm the one that played the game and said, this is fun. Therefore, I did the hard work. You just come up with, you know, a sequel with more ga So, you know, I realize there might not be plans for that. I'm just saying, would not be sad if someday they, oh, hey, by the way, we're putting another game out in this universe. Yeah, I got nothing else. I hope you liked it as much as I did. I would recommend, like, even if you just saw me play it, I'd recommend playing it yourself. Just, it, it's fun. And yeah, I don't know what I'm doing next for variety. So I'd say join me next time when I start. Good question. Said so ask Verm, but I'm not sure he knows. I'd ask Agda Nitio because Agda Nitio knows, but we can't get there because of our save. So I don't know. You don't know. But we'll figure out something. I'll have some game. 
Until then, let's blow out the candle. <laughs>